After session three, we asked Nancy Beach to come down and talk a little bit more about what artists are doing outside the church walls to use their gifts and talents to make a difference in their communities and around the world to bring the kingdom of God here on earth. Listen to what she has to say. In the past year or so, I've talked to a lot of leaders of arts teams who are very excited because they've been able to take some of their artists to another country to serve. Uh, I know a team that saved and saved and raised money so they could all go to Africa and serve for a week. And some have actually served in the arts area. Uh, one group I know was helping orphans, but they, the way they were doing it was teaching them music lessons and uh, painting lessons and that sort of thing. And I think that's terrific. But I used to think that that was the, the main way or maybe even the only way the church artists would get in the game when it comes to addressing the biggest issues in our world. And what I'm discovering in recent months is there are ways that we can make a, a major contribution right where we are, planted in our own local church. And I think the way we do that is what we were describing in this session about leveraging our artistic gifts as a wake-up call for our congregations. And we need to do that carefully and over time in measured ways. But I think that uh, taking the gifts of video and drama and music, um, writing, poetry, and uh, crafting words around these big issues to then humanize the other, as Brian was saying, um, is a key way that we're going to make our contribution. And I've watched it ennoble the artists around my church as they've said, you know, not only am I getting to do my gift and in the context of a local church, but I'm also doing something that I think could actually have a difference on this earth addressing the biggest issues for our broken planet. And so uh, I'm just thrilled. I think we're on the cusp of a wave of many, many local churches saying, you know, it's not going to be every single weekend, but over time, over the course of a year, we better make sure that at some point we're holding a light uh, under these kinds of issues. With God's guidance, we're figuring out which ones we need to talk about in, on our congregation, and we're going to look at our artists and our teachers and say, help us, um, help us awaken the people. So I'm thrilled about that, and I can't wait to see what happens uh, in the sessions on Friday.